I do know you want to bring the car to a stop, but you just might be a little bit nervous. It's okay. It's not that complicated. Though the bad news is... Come on, let's find out. So, is it the chicken before the egg? Or is it the egg before the chicken? Well, I don't have either of the two, but what I do have is a right and a left feet, which I'm going to test see what happens if you press on the brake before the clutch, or when you press on the clutch before the brake, or when you press both the clutch and the brake together. Come on. No one time should you drive with your socks. Just wear proper shoes, not even sandals. I'm specifically using my socks for this demo so that my shoe doesn't block the clutch. First try pressing on the brake before the clutch. Two and a half things will happen. Now the moment your reflex has you stepping on the brake before the clutch, bad news, the car will go off. The good news is, the car will ultimately come to a stop. And the other half bad news, the chance of you hitting someone is high. Okay, now let me try pressing on the clutch before the brake. When you first press down on the clutch and then press lightly on the brake, the car will come to the softest of stop. And the good news is, the car will not jump forward or switch off. But wait, just wait, as long as you do not stop on the brakes. when you press on the clutch and brake at the same time. This is usually such a panic reflex-ish mode when you opt to press down on the clutch and brake together at the same time. Good news, the car will stop for sure. But the bad news is the stop will be so rough and bumpy Okay, now based on that demo, it's pretty clear that you press down fast on the clutch and then you proceed to press the brake. And it's not press stomping, it's basically just a light press on the brake. Let me know how it goes. End of broadcast. <laughs>